Storytime at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hi, I'm Miss Melissa, and I'm the Youth Librarian at the Anderson Branch Library. Today, I will be reading The Only Way to Make Bread, written by Christina Quintero and illustrated by Sarah Gonzalez. The only way to make bread is like this. You always start with a counter or a table. Any clean counter or table will do. Next, you need a bowl. It can be any color you like. My favorite bowl to make bread in is bright blue with a milky white inside. Then pick a flour. It can be soft and white like fresh snow or light brown and scratchy like fine sand. Maybe it's pale yellow and powdery fine or coarse and heavy like a pile of teeny tiny rocks. Now you'll need some salt. And if you're using yeast, you'll definitely need some sugar to make your bread rise. Add some water or milk, maybe an egg or two. Grab a handful of this, add a dash of that, mix in a bit of this, and finish with a splash of that. Get out your, wooden, your best wooden spoon or use your hands and knead it all together until you can't tell where this starts and that ends. I like to use my hands because it's how my poppy taught me. Some doughs like to bubble. Some doughs are sticky and wet. Some doughs stay small and some need time to double in size. Sometimes the dough is soft, loose, and shaggy, like an old t-shirt. Sometimes it's bouncy and firm, like fresh Play-Doh. Sometimes the dough is smooth and round, like the fullest moon. It all smells a little sweet or a little sour, and a lot delicious. When the dough is ready, it's time to give it a shape. Maybe your dough is rolled into, a, into long strips and braided. My dough is shaped into balls the size of donut holes and passed back and forth between my hands until it's flat and round like a small skinny hockey puck. Maybe your dough is rolled into row after row of perfect tiny buns. Next, you'll need to cook it or bake it or fry it in a pan. A pan can be heavy and round or tall and rectangular. You might use a flat pan or perhaps no pan at all, just grilled over the stovetop instead. Maybe you'll skip the kitchen entirely. Wrap the dough around a stick and cook it over an open fire. Now for the very best part. When your bread is done, whether spongy or dry, fluffy or flat, you absolutely must find someone to share it with because bread must always be broken together. Sing before you eat it or slather it with jam. Use it like a spoon or tear it with your hands. I forgot to tell you the most important part, the secret ingredient. Everyone has one. And guess what? It's always the same. You always want to make your bread with love. Your bread might look different from mine, and it probably tastes different too. And that's okay. All bread is delicious. So the next time you make bread, remember there is only one way to make it. Your way. The end. That was such a good book. I'm excited to try to make bread now. Thanks for watching. Bye.
free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Org to find out more.